Hi guys, how are you doing? Senior Gaming here and I'm bringing you Super Arrow with how to increase your ultimate critical rate. So if you're a Super Arrow player or perhaps idle gamer then make sure you subscribe to the channel as I post as often as possible and bring you best tips and advice. And if you enjoy what you see then hit that like button as well. Right then guys, so I'm gonna show you all the aspects of the game where you'll be able to influence at this a very crucial critical rate as this is currently the heaviest hitting critical in the game. What you see in front of you, you've got two pretty much main colors where the orange one is your ordinary crit and the purple or the violet one is actually your ultimate critical damage. You need to bear in mind that there will be a lot of aspects of the game which will influence this obviously total damage output, but a critical rate is something we want to increase as soon as possible to obviously land this damage output. So just very quickly, I want to show you a few aspects of the game where not only just by upgrading a ultimate damage, we are able to influence a damage output. So what I mean by that, if we tap onto hero and upgrades, for instance, on a very last option, we will be able to invest gold and then upgrade. In my case, because I'm running magical, it's exactly the same for a physical. If you are a physical build, we're going to actually upgrade ultimate damage increase. And we're going to do it by 400%. But bear in mind that there are other aspects of the game which will actually contribute to this a overall damage output. And for instance, if we tap on abilities, we don't have anything related in here when it comes to ultimate. But increasing a magical attack by a 1500% will also boost this number. Then if we move into Transcend, actually there is nothing in relation to a critical, but we are gonna increase a all attack by transcending into a new level. So there is so many different aspects of the game which will obviously contribute to this a total number at the end, but bear in mind you shouldn't change anything, but at the same time you want to review and increase this critical rate. So the number one is gonna be actually in upgrades itself. And just by spending gold, either physical or magical, as I have mentioned, if you upgrade it all the way to level 1000, you can squeeze a 10% of this a final ultimate rate. Then the next option is a awakening here. Obviously, you'll be getting a brand new currency, um, which is called Awakening Stone, and you'll be able to get it from a Room of Enlightenment. This is one of the latest dungeons that has been added in a game, and obviously just by challenging this very option, you're gonna get this currency. And then by getting this currency, you'll be able to go and influence a critical rate, and as you see, I'm going with um, upgrading critical rate when it comes to magical, um, and if you do so and you upgrade it all the way to level 500, you'll be able to get a 20% of a critical rate. So as you see, I'm pretty far from it, but this is a respectively a expensive when it comes to leveling up. Obviously, you've got your success rate as well as you only increasing 0.04% every single time you are successful. Then the next option you'll be able to influence that, we're gonna head over into equipment and then into pendants itself. Obviously, bear in mind, you're gonna have every single tier of this. And then if you just tap on it, just by a, literally a unlocking a pendant itself and having this as own effect, you'll be able to influence this rate. And that obviously will change depending on a tier. So the normal one will increase it by 0.1, then grade three 0.1, and then we start slowly increasing where the grade two and three will increase it 0.2. Obviously all the way going to a mythical ones, now you start increasing 1.8, 1.8, 2.3, 2.3 respectively and if you do unlock every single one of the pendants you're gonna increase this rate by a further 25 percent and finally if we tap on to a support itself and the pets you want to just tap on any available pet and then tap on engrave and just by engraving effects itself obviously if you got all the options unlocked the better but now you actually want to go and find all mythical engravement. And then by just having a mythical engravement, you'll be increasing a 0.5% for every single one as an effect. 
Obviously I'm trying again here to get everything related to a magical damage, but bear in mind this is a very very expensive, so wherever you can I would just go and potentially just unlock the engravement as this will help you to influence this very ultimate rate. And obviously you got all the stats here on the bottom. If you go ahead, so the only thing I'm currently missing is obviously to unlock last engravement when it comes to that, considering we've got additional seven pets, we are talking here obviously three and a half percent, therefore I'll be able to boost it all the way to a 28 percent. All right then guys, so that will be it. Just to sum it up very quickly, we'll be able to influence it via hero and upgrade itself, via awakening, pendant, and finally a pet engraving system. Obviously, as it stands, I'm currently having a um, yeah, just below 55%, and I believe anything between 50 and 60 is a good result, considering as it stands, you are only able to get 83% of this rate. Obviously, a, I still got plenty of work to do when it comes to awakening, I got only 3.5% against 20, I still miss uh, all the mythic pendants which will boost it with additional 8% and I got a little bit work to do when it comes to a last slot when it comes to pet engravement. That will be it guys, thank you very much for watching and as always, I'll see you next time.